Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis, and today's Lost Sector Guide is going to be for Aphelion's Rest. I would recommend doing this thing on Legend, but if you are trying to go for a Master of Flawless, knocking off any of the Triumphs, I'm going to show you guys a Master Level Guide. Uh, we've got Overload and Unstoppable, we've got a Burn of Stasis, which is rare, and we've also got Shields that are Void. Modifiers are Epitaph, Attrition is on in Master, which is really annoying, so you got to play really cautious. Uh, but the big thing is the Burn of Stasis. So we actually do have a couple Stasis weapons. You're going to have the Polyrma B rocket launcher, definitely one that's craftable from Witch Queen, pretty common. If you've got something like Reed's Regret, I can't probably recommend that thing enough. It's going to work well. For Overload and Unstoppable, you have a couple options. You can either go Polyrma B, or Palindrome, I'm sorry. Palindrome, if you want to go for a hand cannon, you could do that for your Unstoppable. I've got an Unstoppable Pulse Rifle. This is an older one. I know not everybody's going to have this. The Palindrome is theoretically attainable, just fine. Honestly, something like a Void Auto Rifle is probably harder to find than this thing right now. So this is actually probably at least reasonable. The big one is your Stasis Auto Rifle. We do have Crate as an option. It is Stasis. It's going to help your overloads. And depending on what your specs on this thing are, biggest thing is Major Spec. Make sure that thing is on there. Whether you have stability, handling, range, doesn't have a ton of range or impact. So you're going to take a lot of bullets on this one. Run your Stasis subclass. If you don't have Beyond Light, then I would probably run Void subclass for survivability, Devour, Overshield, whatever you're going to do. But if you got Stasis, you may as well actually enjoy a couple bits that we get from it. Duskfield Grenade, Cold Snap Grenades, Glacier Grenade, kind of up to you. The Stasis Shattering actually can do a lot of benefit, and the Duskfield Grenade doesn't do as much. So I'm going to go Glacier Grenade, mostly just because of that shattering damage from Stasis is going to do a ton. I don't even know what aspects I've got. I do have Diamond Lance for a Titan. I don't know if that's going to be absolutely amazing. This is Cryoplasm. This is for the sliding and shattering things. Um, just Diamond Lance actually works for me. I'll try not to abuse it that much. Other than that, there's not really anything that's going to be like a Stasis Resistance mod. You could have like a Stasis Chest in theory, which you can. But there is no... There is Stasis Resistance if you put it on a Stasis Chest. It's one of those things you could consider doing. Um, but honestly, what probably kills me the most is the triple shots. So void resistance is going to be kind of a must in here. Just because that's when then maybe like concussive damper probably would be the other one. Main thing is it's the overload champions hitting you with their like void triple shots because you're constantly shooting them. They're constantly hitting you. Really actually quite frustrating. All of my mods are not really set up well, but we're going to see if we can get this done. Something void for unstoppable. You can either go glaive if you're brave, hand cannon if you got one, pulse rifle if you have one that's void. Crate is probably going to be one of the better things up here because when it comes to stasis pulse rifles, you do have this, but then that leads you to try and kill an overload champion with a non-stasis weapon, and I just can't recommend that after trying. I tried something like this, and then I had my non-hunger, which I know not everybody has either, but I will tell you this is probably the better way to kill a stasis champion. It's not the best, but it's still what you can do. We're going to do this thing on Master, and hopefully it's not too terrible. You might die a couple times. If you're trying to go for Flawless, it's pretty rough. Um, extra Champions, of course, Locked, Match Game, Anti-Overload. You've got Taken Combatants Generate Blight Geysers when defeated. Stasis Effectiveness is 50% boosted. Regeneration is greatly impaired. Attrition on this one kind of sucks. Void Shields are the only one, but Attrition and Stasis Burn, unique and a bit of a twist. So let's see how it goes. All right, so when you kick it off, you're going to have a group of Thrall pretty much waiting for you. If you have anything that kills in groups, it's a good thing. If you've got ammo finders and stuff like that, you could probably honestly just dump a rock in if you're going for speed. Because you're going to be able to kill in pretty quick groups there. But you'll notice the stasis damage does a lot. I've got headstone on this auto rifle, but it's the explosion of the stasis damage. Like from headstone, from, you know, things like warlock turrets, um... The melee from the hunter is going to be really powerful in here. You got stasis, it's going to be the subclass you're going to want to run in here. If you don't have stasis, I guess they're still trying to sell you beyond light if you don't have it. But just that explosion right there from the little headstone crystal is going to do a lot of work in here. It really, really is. We've got a couple diamond lances here. Nothing too crazy going on. There is going to be the unstoppable champion whenever he kind of wakes up. But we're going to try and pull over here. Once you walk up enough, he will start walking at you. Pull out your unstoppable weapon. Try and get him stunned. As long as the big guy doesn't get in the way. 
And again, if you stun him and you don't hit him with that rocket, make sure you don't waste the heavy until he is stunned. It's not going to do a whole lot of good. Now the stun's there. He does take a chunk of health, though. Like, the stasis rocket just does not seem to hit that hard, even with the burn. Something about that. I know it's master difficulty, but just it takes, like, three rockets to kill this guy. It's like I'd almost rather shoot him just with my auto rifle and just stun him with a hand cannon as opposed to waste rockets on him. It just isn't that efficient. Because here, at least, I can put some work in with an auto rifle, and the damage will tick down a little bit. Problem is, he will start chasing me if I let him get this close. I gotta play a little keep away here. Maybe. A little early on my shot. And this is a vice auto rifle, so it does have the ability to kind of refill your refill your weapon a little bit there, which Vice Stinger is nice. That's why everybody's kinda digging on Reed's Regret, and then Crate also has some good benefits to it. Once you can finish him, you may as well just end the process that way. Looks like I got some uh Heavy ammo to drop, which will be nice and important. The more of that you get, you can figure out how liberal you get to be. But mostly for now, just work through the ads. This part's not that hard. It's the Overload Champions on Master, especially the final couple, which get to be so frustrating. So for now, it's that chaining effect. If you've got anything that's going to explode, that's why the Glacial Wall works pretty well to kill some of these groups of ads, if they would play nice with my actual positioning. See, there's some heavy. I don't even know what's causing that right now. Now, there are, are Overload Champions above. You've also got a few other enemies. Let's see, Diamond Lance. Kind of wasted that one. But again, the Overload Champions are going to be up top. There are two of them, and they're going to be a little bit of a struggle. So you're going to want to try and break these shields when you can frequently. Take out the Acolytes. Work them down in kind of a consistent way. Attrition is really, really annoying. I'm just not a fan. You know, I can sit here and, like, shoot this guy just next to indefinitely. Just keep him stunned and reloaded. But before I do that, I need to take care of these guys. Killing those Scions in groups like that is pretty much the only way to stop them from spawning over and over and over. So, Headstone on my weapon is actually going to be beneficial to try and kill these guys in a little bit of groupage. I get those chances. Notice my health is not coming back because of attrition. That's where the attrition part gets to be a little frustrating. If you feel like you've cleared out enough of the ads, you can push up like kind of one level. There could be some around a corner. And you might be able to get your health back a little bit. But the those guys are so tough because of their like tracing shots to you when you damage them, which you have to damage them to stun them. And whichever one you can get the best peek on, that's the one you want to try and get the damage on. You'll notice I stun him like six times, too. It's the weirdest process with these guys. But it takes a while to get him stunned. Crate is great to actually put out a lot of damage. But you'll notice I'm actually getting slowed from him. I don't know if I have a rocket up. I do not, so I just have to keep firing at this point. If you let off on a stasis enemy, it's just going to hurt to have that whole health bar start over. So at this point, I'm not even going to try for the reload. I'll use the rocket on the next guy, but this is kind of the slow way to do it. Crate is not a bad weapon, though. Just because it's capable of doing this. Not many stasis auto rifles are going to be able to... Weapons are going to be able to take advantage of the burn. There we go. Got a weapon kill. Got my grenade back up. And I got one more up there. He's just going to park it in the same spot. I'm going to take the positioning and just enjoy. Now that's where I'm going to put a rocket in for a good chunk of health. I wish that attrition little pot of health would have come out. No, notice the health came back up. I fired the rocket, and because I wasn't keeping the overload damage on the enemy... You got his health back. That's why you just sit here and pepper with this auto rifle. It's honestly probably your best bet. And if you don't do it fast enough, the health will get that regen going. And if you use any other type of weapon, it doesn't count as overload. Now you could have a void subclass running in here, and that's probably your other option if you do have crate, but you don't have beyond light, for example. And unfortunately, even that right there, just I have no chance to get my health back with attrition, but you have to constantly shoot him with an auto rifle. It's this weird mix of kind of annoying things. I don't love this one, just due to the auto rifle needed nature, rare things that you can actually use for it. I'm going to try and stun him real fast, and then I want to come over here and kill all of these guys, just so I know these are mostly cleared out. Try and stun that guy again. 
Now, we do have an unstoppable champion probably coming around the corner, so back up and be ready. Casey does actually walk around. Yep, he's there. Now your goal, get the stun, and then if you want to use rockets, you can. If you want to use something just like an auto rifle, you'll be able to put in work. You just got to play positions. Same principle here. I can fire for a while when I see him lose the fact that he's yeah, no longer too mad at me. If you play the position in this room, you should have some decent room to work. Like, obviously, the rocket's going to put a little more work in than the other stuff. I swear that stasis rocket does not hit that hard. Ooh, through the rocks. Spicy there. Almost got me killed, but I should be able to get enough damage for the finish. There we go. Hopefully get a little heavy. I'll take it. And again, this is why I like the, the scions that just keep splitting and splitting and splitting and splitting and splitting. They're really frustrating. And that's why having any way to do chain explosion damage in here is going to be kind of the only way to kill them all. Like, you need some way to kill them in groups. And if you don't have it, it really hurts. Now, yeah, I could stasis slow him down, but if I don't have a good angle to kill him, it doesn't do me any good. So this wall seems to put in some work. I'm going to sit here, same principle. Try and dodge a few of these. That's not too much damage. And again, crate has that vice stinger on it. You actually get that chance to continually fire a lot. I'm standing in like a stasis well. I'm going to get frozen. This sucks. And please don't get your health back. It's like all I can beg that he doesn't... And there's the health. That's annoying. Do you see the number of shots coming at me? There's like not much that I can do. That's why if you get frustrated in here, you 100% are justified at that. Because you have to fire at him so many times to get the stun off, and it just can, like, perpetually causes those shots to come out. On, I would recommend doing this on Legend difficulty to all of you. Master is not necessary and honestly just not worth the time. Legend is much, much easier to farm. Less of these annoying champions. Can't even hit my rocket when I shoot it up there. Now again, if you could kind of head glitch this guy a little bit, keep him somewhat stunned here. I'm going to say head glitch just gets where you could barely see the head, but the weapon's almost below cover. So he's just shooting at the ground in front of him. Kind of all that's happening right now, actually. And it's just you got to make sure you keep enough of an angle on him so you can keep the bullets coming. And just keep going. And this is why this is annoying. Because overload and auto rifles, I just hope they never do it again. I'm so tired of seeing this every so often. About once a year it comes up, and it is the worst modifier for overloads because of how you have to manage it. Now, if you got a grenade to throw over there, my... I'm not... A... Like, this area is probably almost worse than the last with attrition. Just so many shots come at you, there's not a great way to dodge them. So, yeah, I'm kind of winding a little bit in this lost sector. Even with stasis weapons, we even have more stasis weapons than we did. This is still not a fun lost sector. With the splitting, you have very limited options. You need some type of group killing effect. Hence the stasis chaining. Attrition is just a modifier I wish would go to hell and not come back. Because, like, you... And it's, like, built around having to perpetually do damage, yet you can't get your health back in even a somewhat consistent fashion. And I just don't think that's a great setup for things. I'm gonna die in a stasis well. So dead. Yeah, doing this one flawlessly takes so much patience. It's rough, I'll be honest. But after a while, I got about five more minutes before my respawns are available, so need to clear up some of these champions. You got two champions. You've also got some um, some more snipers back there in the back, and they're all just gonna be putting in some work. Your best bet is honestly coming up here in cover. Trying to kill these guys as quickly as you can. The Acolytes, they will be doing stasis damage. Overloads, getting some stasis damage in there. Yeah, the stasis is just rough. And the burn is just on top of you. So when you're taking that stasis damage, it's pretty brutal. Yeah, if you can stun one of those guys and then maybe work on some of the other Acolytes, might be your best bet. Yeah, doing this on Legend is about the only thing I can recommend to all of you. Doing this on Master, not much of a point. I can pretty much guarantee you that. 
because of all of that. Those overload champions are ridiculous. Just ridiculous. If you gotta well, if you gotta go invisible, do what you gotta do, but man. Trying to just clear most of the ads out. Now I think I'm down to the two overloads. I haven't really ever found a good way to get a position on these two. A great one, at least. I don't know if I can get close enough underneath them where they're not as much of an issue. Maybe this will work. I have next to no health, and honestly, this cover seems a little bit better. But yeah, your goal is just to try and find... Oh, he is on top of me. Yeah, that's not really going to help my uh, help me stay alive very well. And I know not every class is a shield like that. I'm just trying not to die. Typically, I'll do this work from back here. It's slow, it's tedious, but again, simple. Same process, not even staying alive. The Retaliation Swarm. In this one, painful. That Void Resistance and Concussion Resistance. I have both of those on right now, still dying. Because you don't get your health back. That's the biggest thing. I can set up for just about anything, but if I never get my health back, that's what's rough. I can sit here and fire until I am blue in the face. Hopefully I got a good spot, maybe. If the health doesn't come back, then at least I know I've kind of kept it going. Get a reload, and if you can isolate one from the other, that's kind of the goal. I got about three minutes left here. Two minutes, I think, actually, before I can... Now, if this guy doesn't die, I'm gonna be more than mad. Okay, I got one, now the boss is gonna spawn. Had to go for the commit there because that low, I was about to just have to redo him. Two minutes left, the boss is coming out. Gonna have a lot of ads coming. Boss is also gonna be a bit of an issue. That grenade, again, that splitting of that grenade damage, really actually putting in some, woo, unstoppable champion, forgot about you. Been a minute since I've run this one. Watch your timer. I got about 90 seconds where these deaths are going to ruin the run. So if you see me go ultra cautious soon, this will be why. Yeah, this one, Legend, I did it in about six minutes. And that was probably, that was not even using any exotics. So please do Legend. Don't do Master. I'm just showing you what Master looks like and why you shouldn't do it. Because it is not worth it. None of this is, and honestly, the way the drop rates are, yeah, this is, you're not, it's not worth wasting your time. Didn't have reloaded. I'm gonna go try and get line of sight on him before he gets unstunned. And use the auto rifle, pull up for a finisher. There we go. It's a little risky. A little diamond lance action, see what I can throw this out in the back. Again, like a warlock with a turret, be fantastic. The melees for the hunter. And even the Hunter Super, you could just throw that thing out there and clear the room. Titan, unfortunately, I've got to go try and get up in a position where... And again, hand cannon here, not as optimal. Pulse Rifle would be better on these ranged guys to break their shields. But again, I don't know of a lot of people that can get a Void Pulse Rifle right now. There's not a lot of great options. So at this point, I'm probably going to try and actually just kill the boss, since that's probably my best bet right now. No lives left, no respawns, no nothing. And I'm just gonna try and work him down as cautiously as I can. Yeah, my super would probably get me killed more than anything else. I don't expect that my super would allow me to roam around the map and do anything beneficial because a lot of the guys are void shielded so I wouldn't be able to break those anytime soon. Got an overshield over there and acolytes that are going to be peppering me with stasis damage the entire time. If I could somehow keep him somewhat steady, that'd be great. Got a bunch of thralls coming. Got some ammo. I'll take the ammo. Pull back if you need to if they're getting close. If you're not feeling comfortable. Don't worry about it. More scions. This is, again, why having something explosive like that specific grenade I was talking about is really going to be beneficial here. 
it's those stasis explosions, headstone or whatever you've got for a way to do it. Oh, get me out of this. Try to make sure all the scions are dead. That guy's finally down. I don't know if the boss actually pulled back. The boss did actually pull back. I'll take that. Stasis explosions. But yeah, I just don't have a great void option for range. And if you're new, you may not. Like a void pulse rifle? There's last perdition. There's graviton lance if you've got it. That's probably a fun one to use for that slot. But again, it's an exotic, so... And an old one and a new player very well may not have that weapon because not everybody does. Okay, if I could just get rid of the scions to start, that would be a step in the right direction. If I have an overload champion, I have two acolytes over here or three. I just need to break some shields and get these guys down. And this is what it's like just to try and do this one. So please do not do this on Master. It is not worth your time. Unless you are just trying to do it for a triumph. That is like the only thing I could think of. It's just, yeah, the one of the less fun ones for sure. Now I got an overload guy that I pretty much just have to unload into. If I can get some chunk damage on the boss with the rocket, I'm going to do it. See if this big rock gives me a little bit of cover over here on these guys so I can get close enough to break a shield for a change. Got one Acolyte down. That's an Elite down. There we go. A couple of chain explosions. Maybe a grenade that might actually do some work up there. Oh, there we go. How about a big smash? Okay, boss should be down. Now my last one should be that Overload Champion. If he disappears on me, that might be a problem. So I just need to try and get into a position to keep perpetual damage on him. I think he's my last guy, though. So if I can get just me and him, we'll get this done. But again, if you were a hunter, just throw that. You could have your, like, three supers probably by now and be all right. Don't you move and run around to get your health back. If you are going to reload your rocket, you better do it right after you stun. Can you not run around? That would be great. And again, I have a Viced Auto Rifle. It's the only reason I have that many bullets in the chamber as it is. All right, that is Master done. That was 18 minutes, and I do not recommend that to anybody, but that should be Platinum Rewards. Let's open up and find out. That's an exotic, so likely Platinum Rewards. That is a Philion's Rest without Linear Fusion Rifles getting the benefit they did last season. So that is a non-exotic run, and if you don't have Stasis, then you most likely will need at least Crate, probably Headstone of some kind to clear those enemies out. Or maybe a Vortex Grenade if you're running Void for Overload Champions as well. Either way, please run Legend. It is the better way to go because Master, yeah, while I did get an Exotic, it's not worth it. You could run multiple Legends. I could run three Legends in the same time, and that's probably the best way to go. So, that is a wrap on this one. If you guys did enjoy the video, drop a like below. Leave a comment with a loadout that you guys enjoy using. Exotics, good legendaries, whatever you got going on. Throw the loadouts in the comments. If you guys want to find me on Twitter, it's Ibontis, Twitch, it's Ibontis, right here on YouTube. If you haven't subbed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the alert bell. If you are already a YouTube member or a Patreon subscriber, you guys are extra amazing. But all of you are awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.